welcome guys thank you for tuning into my channel so today i'll show you how to assign properties in abacus uh -huh. one of my client have requested this so i'm just making my uh, making this video so uh, if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this to your college among your colleagues so if anybody needs any help they can simply contact me and definitely this is a paid service so let's say you have created your part now you need to assign the property because uh, you need to tell the software what is the part that you have created whether it is made up of steel or concrete or soil okay so once you have created your part so next you will have to assign property and you have to individually assign the property let's say if you want to make a car then uh, to make the car you need to have uh, you need to manufacture several components of the car like tires steering seats its engine uh, different uh, components so uh, in part we create such components and then you have to tell the software that uh, whether the tire is made up of rubber or any other material or steering is made up of steel or any other material so likewise so for that first you will have to create the material so this is material manager these are the materials that i have already created to create the material simply go over here name the material you want so you can uh, this is uh, even if you don't uh, name it it will be okay but this will be confusing if you have multiple materials so always uh, name your material let's say this is steel so how to define the density you will have to define the density over here and uh, make sure if uh, you are working in mm like uh, you have made this uh, part in mm dimension you are using mm then uh, density will have to enter in ton per mm cube and if uh, you are working in meter then you will have to enter this in kg per meter cube so once you have entered the density next go to elastic here enter the Young's modulus Poisson's ratio and if you are using concrete then there you will have to go with concrete uh, damage plasticity or uh, steamer plasticity plasticity if you are using concrete damage plasticity these values are default values you will get in many papers these are the tens uh, yield stress and inelastic strain properties this is the tensile behavior and uh, if you want to specify the damages you can enter the damage parameter and inelastic strain so remember this strain and uh, this strain will be similar and again in tension also this cracking strain and the dam tension damage here the cracking strain will be same except the damage parameter it will change so this concrete damage plasticity will come in case of uh, concrete if you are using steel and if you are not or if you do not want to consider any damage criteria there you can simply go with uh, stress strain property of the steel yield stress plastic strain and uh, etc so if you have stress strain behavior of the material then you can simply enter the yield stress and plastic strain from there uh, next uh, one more thing here I want to enter, uh, explain you. Let's say, let's say, uh, this is your stress strain curve. This is your stress strain curve. So, here, let's say the strain is uh, 0 0.1, and uh, it is uh, somewhere it is breaking at 0. Point. So, let's say ultimate strain is 0 0.3 and yield strain is 0 0.1. So, here it is yielding. Now, what value shall we be entering over here? Yield stress and ultimate stress, plastic strain. So, yield stress will be yield stress will be the stress corresponding to this yield strain. Whatever stress you are getting over here, you let's say this stress is 10. So, you have entered yield stress 10. In software, you have to enter yield stress 10. So, and in plastic strain, what shall I enter? Shall I enter 0 0.1? as the corresponding strain, strain is 0 0.1 no the answer is no because this is plastic strain so this 0 0.1 is elastic strain 0 0.1 is elastic plastic strain is will start from here so what you'll have to do you'll have to deduct 0 0.1 from all those those values so if you deduct 0 0.1 from this point it will become 0 and if you deduct 0 0.1 from this ultimate strain it will become 0 0.2 so let's say this corresponding stress is 20 so what you will be entering at 10 the plastic strain is 0 and 
at 20 the plastic strain is 0 0.2 okay so likewise you'll have to enter this stress so if you have a uh, stress strain value there you just find out the uh, elastic point so uh, if you deduct that strain from the remaining strain you will get plastic strain and that's all and if you are using uh, any other if you want to use da uh, ductile damage then then you can go for ductile damage johnson cook shear etc these are the damage models that we usually use but for, for civil we don't need this this especially required in case of uh, mechanical uh, simulations so let's say simulating any machine etc there you need uh, damage of the particular steel or material there you need this model but uh, in our civil engineering structure we are uh, if you have the yield stress of the material so we are concerned about the overall behavior of the material not the um, uh, I would say micro behavior of the material okay micro behavior means how the steel is breaking and etc etc those are not required uh, we, we go for the overall behavior of the material so we don't need this next uh, there are different other uh, material model models are there you don't need those things uh, really you don't need this thing damping if you need you can enter and expansion if you are going for a thermal simulation thermal analysis there you can go for expansion etc then if you if you are going for thermal analysis you need to enter conductivity and all but uh, for simple analysis these three are sufficient density elasticity density is required in dynamic analysis without this you won't be able to perform the dynamic analysis. Uh, that's all. So once you have created the material model materials, uh, all the materials will be available like this. See, and also one more thing, uh, if you are going for soils, so there you can go for plasticity, and you can go for more Coulomb plasticity, friction angle, dilation angle, cohesion values, etc. You can enter if you are going for soil and for elastic also, also elasticity also you can go for different orthotropic and isotropic etc etc once you have created it create the sections so uh, this is a solid model so i'll create the section just select solid homogeneous name the section and the materials that i have created it will be available over here you don't need to <coughs> enter this value so this is required in case of plane strain problem for your case it is not required simply click ok once you click uh, ok uh, these type of sections will be available over here and uh, let's say uh, if you have created a shell this is a shell so there you just have to create a section called shell and homogeneous if you are going for composite etc you will have to use other one if you are using beam or truss element if you have a rebar then there you have to go with beam and select truss so likewise you will have this uh, section now see uh, once you have assigned a material the color will be like this and if the color is like this like uh, similar to white color then you'll have to understand that there is no material assignment to this part now how can you check what is the name of this part its name is ballast so if you expand the ballast see in section assignment there is no section that has been assigned so what you can do you can simply click on this select here it is say asking select the part on which you want to assign the material select it and from here you all the sections will be available so i have created in the name of ballast it is it says solid homogeneous click ok so once i have assigned it will be available over here okay. sometimes uh, let's say i i have assigned this twice so what will happen it will be available over here and it will its color will change this will create problem so make sure you always expand this and check if there is two times of assignment of material simply right click and delay one of this that will be okay that's all and uh, my client also requested to define to explain the load so i'll explain for this case uh, here there are two types of loading you can go for one is displacement control one is load control displacement control we apply displacement and in load control we apply uh, load for the deformation so that's all these are all different loads you want to apply concentrated force concentrated force will be applied at the same at a particular point then pressure will be applied on a particular surface that's all simply click done enter the value and you can simply enter the 
load that you want to apply. And thank you for tuning in my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe.